Hello, how are you? So today I want to talk about this mockery of parenting that comes from DaBaby and Danny Lay. So according to this video, we'll soon get to it. Um, they've had their baby, the baby's about three months. And he's speaking about her not leaving and wants to speak about her and her family. She pops on. She wants to speak about him not being there for her pregnancy. It's just a full-time struggle. And I don't understand any of this other than completely shutting it down and being parents. Get off the fucking internet and just be parents to that child. But let's just watch some of this fuckery because it's quite pathetic. In America the next day, as soon as the jet landed, delivered the baby safely. You know what I'm saying? Way better, way better hospital conditions, all that. And then I'm making sure that she's set up with everything she need. I go get everything. I go get everything, you know, everything. Anything a baby can possibly have, I go get it. I set it up at the penthouse down here in the city. But I'm making shit clear. That you want to talk about it? I'm making shit clear. Right here, you here. Go, here you go. That's cool. But I'm making shit clear. That I'm making. And it's the thing. Everybody, go ahead. Clear and I'm, your nose and I'm glad y'all know. Here. Go ahead. Clear here. your nose. Here, come here. Come here. You scared? And I'm glad. No, no, I'm not scared. Look, and I'm glad she walked out. So as you can see, nobody was put out. Oh, and me calling me calling the police. That's like for my safety, because this what I'm because this what I'm dealing with. Like this is a real deal, cuckoo for cocoa. Okay. Look. 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 This. This is a real deal. like. Okay, so I'm sorry, guys, but please make it make sense. You called the police on her for your safety. Meanwhile, the police come 40 seconds in. They shooting motherfuckers up, but you called them for your safety. And what did this girl do, honestly, for him to have to call the police? And why isn't she gone by now? So that's just my first thought. And why the fuck is his uh, gum hanging out of his mouth the whole time? Like, you don't know how to chew with your fucking mouth shut? Struggle. It sounded really cuckoo mm. and she's still here. So nobody was put out. The woman is crazy Nobody was put time. out. No, this ain't no, we ain't got to make this a, a sexist thing. I forced him to be with me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Stephanie. Did, Go ahead, this ain't this answer ain't this ain't nothing question. new. This is just me. This is just me clearing the air because she not about to tell this. Here from Orlando. I can okay. show you. I can show you. You begging me to stay here, Charlie. This not. This not. Talking about you miss me. Come back home. All this stuff. I already left your ass. You can see. You can see who cuckoo her. Yeah, let's see who not. Because I'm talking. But this is my thing. This is my thing. They didn't make. Okay. They did not make Shawty leave, and somebody need to come make Shawty leave. No, I'm leaving. Please, but guess what, what I'm guys? saying? I can't somebody, go to the house to get my baby's somebody clothes. Somebody need to make sure they leave. telling me I can't go to the house to get my baby's clothes because I only have four outfits for her because I want to leave. So stop showing me, bro. <laughs> you wanted to get on live to talk shit and, and put everybody in our business trying to act like we're not. We haven't been together. We, we haven't been, been together. together. Okay. Okay, Jonathan. We haven't been together. You're this not. You, you, you don't know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Oh, my God. This is. So wait, if they haven't been together, which I don't give a fuck, actually, but if they haven't been together, why do you have a room set up for her and the baby and also trying to kick her out at the same time? She's saying that she only has four pairs of clothes for her baby. So you just not going, why can't she just have all the shit so she can leave? See, okay, this is the part. That gets me because I've watched this already and then I'll get back to it. If you're going to be a man, then be a man. If you're going to be a father, then be a father. If you feel like she's ruining what you have, why don't you help her pack the baby stuff and her stuff up and set her up in a place where she can be in a healthy, comfortable atmosphere? Why bring her to the house when you don't want her there? And then why play the victim as if, so woe is me, so many things are happening to me. You dipped in her. You got her pregnant. And now all of a sudden it's a problem. These fucking men are weirdos. So funny. That's what I'm saying. 
Yeah. Oh my God. How you gonna go buy shit? Dealing with, in the room, right? You're dealing with a right real nigga. Just not. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Like listen. as if I'm not gonna come out here and talk. I'm gonna oh let y'all see what's going on. Like, oh, this is this is, my, this is my this is my reality. You're such a cap ass man. This is my reality. This is so such look. a cap ass man. He wants to fuck me and fuck his baby mother and fuck all these Charlotte hoes and fuck all this shit and me. I'll be okay with that, guys. And me come back and live Can here. Why does he keep panning over to the black woman to make her the co-signer? Why is it that always a black woman has to come in and comfort people? Why is it that the black woman has to come in and decide to be the mediator for a black guy and his preference? Why the fuck aren't they able to mediate? If that's your preference and that's what you're in love with half the time, shouldn't you be able to handle the situation on your own? But you keep panning over to that black woman wanting her to be the mediator. Hmm. Stay in this fucking stop house touching. with our child. I don't want you to stay. I've been okay. begging you to yeah, leave. Yeah, I know. You tried to kick me out this yesterday one of them real, in the morning. This, one of, them real, this one of them real movies, yeah. man. Y'all look. look tune, tune in <laughs> and see what we're dealing with. Uh -huh, like. for sure. And let me be really honest about this. He can't play the victim. She can't play the victim either. The only victim in this whole sad, fucked up situation is the child. The baby that's three months old. Why is it that with these struggle relationships, no one can stay together even up to the first year of the baby being born? Why is it always, oh my God, it got so hard two months after the baby was born? That's how you know some Negroes and some Negettes, yes, I said it, should not be parents. Like at the end of the day, how are you fighting when you should be happy as hell when there's a three month old around? Like really make it make sense. I a really cuckoo for Cocoa oh, yeah, Puffs really in cuckoo real life. Puffs, man. I'm, talking for myself, I'm not going. Because you're calling your me a thing. crazy I'm ass not, woman I'm not on the internet trying to make me look bad because your ass was trying to kick me out to go to a hotel with our three month baby. What? Listen. What? Listen. You just going. I got, I got, how many times I got. I don't think that he quite understood how dumb he looked when she said that you were trying to kick me out with three-month-old baby. Like, he looked hella confused and quite retarded, but he's not quite comprehending that this is your child. And regardless to whether you how you feel about me, we still have a baby together. Instead, he gets on live like a 16-year-old to make his embarrass himself even more because let's just be honest us decent people this is embarrassing too all you hood rats and dumb negroes out there this is entertainment but this is not funny to the rest of us like you guys got us all fucked up thinking that this is a way of parenting this is pathetic the entire Ready night Shouty, can, I, ahead, can ahead. I do my live dude? no no, go ahead, do your life. That's why the folks got to come get her out of here, no, man. No, I'm leaving. Trust me, I'm leaving. God, but I need my stuff God, here really so I can leave here forever. Why, do you, have, why do you have Why do you have stuff in my house? I've been trying what to get you, you to leave about? my house for a whole week. Closet get this in your house. <laughs> That's a good question. Why does she still have stuff at your house? Why didn't you put it in boxes, you dumb ass Negro, and mail it to her? Send it to her. You seem to have this assistant in your house. In a few minutes, you're about to see one of his friends or family members in the background. So you could easily gather this woman's stuff up and take it to her. But I truthfully believe that they like this struggle. That's just me. I no, I can't tell it off. I got to clear this up. So house. listen. I had a whole closet. I have an listen. underwear drawer, you idiot. I have Somebody a sign of a fucking sink in your bathroom. Stop acting like I just came into your Look life and Look just fucking... Oh my God, you're so funny, bro. This is so funny. How are you going to go on live with me in the other room thinking I ain't going to come out and talk? I'm not tripping on you coming out. Why are you still here? You got to leave. This is real life. This, not, go, this is not the shit with your my parents. No, I'm let's get you one now. Do you need no, help? No, let's get I you a jet. You have to leave. Shawty got to go. Can y'all? Like, what's up? I can't leave. I can't leave. Look at this. I can't leave. I've been sitting up all night. I can't get no sleep. This is. This is get out. This is get out. Mix. 
he's saying that he can't sleep and he's talking about get out. Nobody in this motherfucking house should be getting sleep because there's a three month old somewhere. So all this yelling and talking crazy should be ceasing right now. It should have ceased a while ago. If you have a baby in the house, y'all don't need to be arguing about who fucked up and who should have did better. You should be taking care of that baby. But this is what happens when you have no good people having babies, getting on live to argue about it, and the rest of us gets to see this as entertainment. I don't think this is entertaining. I think this is pathetic. And I think that somebody other than that black lady right there needs to mediate this shit. Like this is fucked up. This is struggle life. Y'all don't want this. I'm not trying to be. Listen. You're not. You're not. He's a great father. Okay. And you know that, Damon. Okay. He's a great father, right? Okay. He's a great father. Okay. No, he's a great father. So now you have the great mediator, the black woman, that has to come and say, no, no, no. He's a great father. Stop. Just say it with me. He's a great father. Meanwhile, the baby's in the back somewhere three months old and getting the attention or the love that it needs because you got two ignorant old young people that can't figure out their fucking life and what the fuck they should be doing right sure she's a crazy bitch pregnant. you wasn't my you wasn't my girl i wasn't your girl then yeah i wasn't your girl you ain't never been my girl right there my brother don't you call me listen. a girl all the time, Darius. Don't Darius. ask your people. Darius. They know me as your fucking Darius. girl. What you what you Stop what you know, Shadi is, Darius. Oh my god. <laughs> what you know, Shadi? <laughs> got Darius up there looking dumb as hell, big old smile, like the shit's funny. Like this is not a real situation. Like there's no baby involved. <laughs> oh, bro, hey, hey, look, bro. This nigga know to have that phone out, yeah. man. That's funny. This is some trap of this some trap of black nigga shit playing going wrong. Yeah. So she trapped him, but he had sex with her and ejaculated in her, but she trapped him. Meanwhile, this is a girl that's had, this is her first child, I believe. This is his how many? This is which one? Which number of child? But she's trapping him? Weird. That's what this is. Stop show. Yeah, this is trying to trap a nigga going wrong. I'm trying not going. Trying to trap a nigga? Are you crazy? Shout you just it. came at me last night, you idiot. Shout it, you begging wow. me. You be, you you be just begging came at me. Last night, you idiot. It's some jail. Hey, somebody tell Maury to call I baby, man. You. Let me run up a quick 10M. Yeah, okay. Don't let me run up, let me run up a quick track. 10M. Somebody tell Maury to call yeah, me, man. Let's put this shit on Mars. Shorty is Mars. The thing that gets me about this is the fact that he's making a literal mockery out of parenting. Like, call Maury, all this bullshit. Like, how are you not smart enough to understand the gravity of this situation, this fucked up situation? You're, this is a joke now? But I guess it is a joke because his rapper name is The Baby, right? More material. Get up out my crib. Come no. on, get off my table. No, get off live. Bitch, don't come out life. here. Oh my God. Get up off my so table, shout Oh my God, uh, no. No, this shit stand on. Call them people to come get no. shout up out my spot. Go ahead, Please, call them. Stop. To call get them, you and your child out your spot. Go ahead. Call I'm them. stuck. Hey, help. 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 You're such a fucking dick. Help, hey. You're Help so me, funny, nigga. Bro. Hey, so why you sitting there? Do something. Do something, <laughs> do something bro. And hey, where's my baby? Oh, you don't you see what that. I'm saying? Like, see how pathetic he is. He's laughing at a whole serious situation, talking about where's my baby. Why don't you have the baby? If you're such a stand-up father and you're trying to show the world that she's in your house and she won't leave. Where's the baby at? Why don't you have the baby? Why aren't you cradling the baby in your arms while the police are hauling her out since you're such a great stand-up fucking dad? Instead, you got your mouth wide open, gum hanging out your mouth. Just, like, just a fucking loser. Like, really? Honestly, if he was the baby. Honestly, inside of you guys' hearts. If he wasn't the baby. 
Would you even want him around you? Would you want him around your kids? Would you want to make a child with him as he's making a mockery out of this situation? He got this whole girl on live while he's saying she won't get out the house with a three-month-old baby. Yeah, come on. Your baby is sleeping. I just put her sleep. Go like back. Every there go with go with her. Go. No. See what I'm saying? Talking about my business you like my, that. Girl, that ain't girl. Girl. Ain't, that, ain't nobody was a part of my pregnancy. You weren't a part of my pregnancy. You don't need to tell nobody nothing. The fuck? See, she don't want me to put out her real business with her and her family. So he wants to go back to talking about the family when she just aired him all the way out and said, you wasn't even a part of my pregnancy. So you knew you had a baby with her. You ejaculated inside of her. You made a whole new life and then you didn't even have the audacity to show up. Couldn't even show up. But you want to get on live and say what she won't do. Listen, I ain't on nobody's side. I'm not on her fucking side. I'm not on his fucking side. I'm on the child's side. And they're making a total mockery out of parenthood. You know how hard it is to be a parent and you got these hoes on this live. Just one of them is just nonchalant. He's so nonchalant about it. He won't do this. And I flew her out and her family. And it doesn't matter if I'm not being a, a dad right now. It doesn't matter if I'm not acting like a real man. Could y'all see the way she's acting? That's the real tea. Like, ugh. I got going okay, on. That's the real cool. issue. That's not nothing to do with us. This girl got a real, you okay, know, a real Matilda story type shit going on. You know, Negro can't even keep his fucking save my child from nasty. She got to save her face. Her family got to save her face. My family's not in the industry. Me yeah. being in the industry well, that take I care of my family, it's a difference. Years old. Sorry. That's why you I didn't when I hey look, it, right? yeah, yeah, I didn't, you know, mm. I didn't, I didn't skeet it in the wrong thing. I got yeah. to deal with what come with that. There it goes. The immaturity of this man. He skeeted in the wrong thing. He skeeted in the wrong thing. That's his mentality. Hmm. But my last name, Kirk, is what I do. So I take whatever come with that full responsibility, but shout it is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Shout it is cuckoo. Okay, this is the last time I'm really going to stop after this. I'm going to let the rest of it play out. But um, have you guys noticed that some black men, no matter how bad they really fucking look, they still try to flip it around and have a smile on their face as if they're doing just something so right? I'm not saying all. I'm just saying watch this video and then... Pay attention to these rappers from here on out. Pay attention how nothing's ever their fault. Pay attention how they keep on chomping on that fucking gum as shit gets heavy and they pretend like you're the problem. Pay attention to this bullshit right here. For Coco Puff. Everybody else is crazy. Not my girl. I ain't never been my girl. Is my side bitch. It's your what? My side, side bitch. Shawty is a certified side bitch. Not He's trash. Trash, trash. Fucking embarrassing me like that. Shawty is a certified side Shut bitch. Up. Just trying to act Stay like she ain't. No, let, let's Stop take it though. Her parents know she's my side bitch. Everybody knows she's a side bitch. Oh she don't want y'all to know she's a side bitch. She got to save her face. She got to crash all the way out. Call them folks. Save me. Wow. Help. So you got his co-signer there with the phone thinking that she's doing something. When, while he just called her a side bitch, a side chick. Embarrassing her. I know she's, here's the thing. I know this girl embarrassed herself before she let him embarrass her. That's not what we're here. You know, we ain't we ain't here about that. We're here about people taking accountability for their motherfucking actions and cutting the bullshit. Be mature about your situation and actually give a damn that there's a child involved. 
instead of sitting there with your mouth wide fucking open, looking like a full on menstrual show with your gum hanging out of your damn flapping ass lips talking about how somebody's a side chick. No good Negroes. You see, I shot it when storming off when that truth came out. Listen, so let me finish telling y'all what I'm telling y'all. Miss me with all that, I'm not going. I had to show y'all, I'm not going. Shout it crazy. I'm not going to be the one to... Mm. How retarded is he? To play that game, you see what I'm saying? Like, honestly, look at him. Kids. And if this will come with it, this will come with it. But shout to be in Listen, successful. the way he addressed it, I'm going to take care of them kids. These are your kids. Your kids. They're not just random people that you're taking care of. They're your children. You should say, I'm going to take care of my children. Not, I'm going to take care of these kids. Oh, God. My other baby mama. Stalking. Stalking my, my first baby mama. Goddamn. Interfering with the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm raising my ch So I can't do this anymore with his gum and his mouth and his underbite. I'm sorry. Um, Let me know if y'all would have kids with someone like this or if you would even lay down. This is the reason why there is a whole movement on YouTube talking about don't have black men's kids and why it's going further and why a lot of women are jumping on board. This is, this is fucked up. This is a fucked up situation. But it does show you why you shouldn't lay down with some black men. Because I couldn't imagine a white man getting on live saying all of this and him not at the very least being reprimanded by his people. Because they would be like, that's not it. But this is what we accept in our community. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.